coming up on At Your Leisure. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And today we're going to experience a slice of heaven and a trip to the moon. And I'm Ray Stein. Coming up, we'll take you to Southern Utah Spectacular Red Rock Hunt. I'm Will Oxley. Hop in and come along for the ride because we're having big fun with small machines. Okay, ready? Don't sit under the yeah. birthday arch with anyone, anyone else but, but Brett. Brett. Anyone Brett. else but Brett. <laughs> anyone <laughs> else but <laughs> Brett. <laughs> it's Brett Hermanson's birthday and we're at Birthday Arch. Welcome to At yeah. Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth and we are hanging out with some wonderful people today. Um, we have got uh, Mike and Bob and Chrissy from Upland Adventures out here in Big Water and they got us on this rock with those incredible Maverick Can-Ams and we're also with the Eagles Landings folks. Right, we got the whole management Woo! team from Eagles Landing yeah! at Greenhaven which is actually Paige. These are a dynamite bunch of people and there's some new things happening we got to share with you about Eagles Landing because they've got new Verbos down there so you can literally stay right next to the Yardley Steak Burger, fill your tummy up and you can turn your back on the lake or look toward the lake, but there's adventure of every kind. And these guys from Upland and Uplake Adventures will take care of you. So Upland Adventures is a really amazing opportunity for people to come and, and go on a guided adventure. The nice thing about a guided adventure is they get to follow us, but they get to find the cool places to go. Uh, so there is a little bit of instruction and we keep them safe. It's a fun opportunity to come down and see Southern Utah, a little bit of Northern Arizona in, in a whole different way, all year round, you know, even in the winter time when we get a little bit of, you know, a lot of cold weather, it's not as busy, but we have a lot of fun. So we really like the Mavericks. Um, they're a four seater machine. I would say probably the number one reason is because of the terrain that we cover, we need good suspension. This is the Can-Am Maverick XRS Turbo RR. This is the bad boy. It's a dune shredding, rock crawling, desert blasting beast. 200 horsepower turbocharged. This same model of car took place one through 11 at the Dakar Rally, which is one of the biggest off-road races in the world. The top 11 cars were this car. So that says a lot. They're incredible. You come up to obstacles that you think, this is gonna hurt, and then you just cruise right over it. Oh, Upland Adventures is so much fun. I, I didn't want to work, I'm retired, but then I got the job job driving these incredible machines and which is what I like to do for fun anyway and I get to take really fun people out on tours in this beautiful area that my ancestors helped settle so I mean it's perfect it's so much fun the cars are a blast the people are fun the country's beautiful it's the people that we meet just totally make the experience for us me and the other guides that work with me it's all about the people um, we see the trails every day we see the lake many, many times. It's still beautiful, but what makes the experience unique is our guests. You get to come down, get to experience it through their eyes, and that is just what makes it. The people make the trip, and they're always so much fun. We have friends from all over the world, and they come back again and again because they had a great time in Southern Utah. Man, these Can-Ams are so sweet. You know, Chad's driving, and I'm like, all right, dude, time for you to bail. I hijacked not, it. Not at all, yeah, the hijacked is right. Not at all true. She was listening to Bob talk about these machines and how great they were, and she backed out of the crowd slowly. <laughs> and then I got back here, and she was in and buckled in, so. No, man, these things are just such a sweet drive. They're such a sweet ride. I, I absolutely love riding in it and driving them. These are just so nice. Well, don't drive into the moon, honey. You don't want to go to the moon? <laughs> Anyway, while we make our way down the slope to the moonscape, how about you take a look at this story? I'm Reed Stein, at your leisure, in southern Utah's spectacular Red Rock country, an area of scenic beauty 
ancient and recent history, and lots of fun things to see and do. You don't need special equipment to see much of the beauty of canyon country. Along the Trail of the Ancients Highway, Newspaper Rock State Historical Site includes a whopping 650 designs and just steps from the parking lot. Some of the glyphs are 2,000 years old, others more recent from the Anasazi, Fremont, and Pueblo cultures, and a few downright modern, including Navajo and early Anglo depicting humans on horseback. The rock is a catalog of critters that live here, deer, bison, pronghorn, and bighorn sheep. The six-toed feet actually mirror the feet of human remains buried nearby. Canyonlands National Park turns 60 in September. Dueling six-shooter peaks guard the 35-mile-long paved dead-end road into the Needles District with its jumble of deep crevasses, towering spires, sheer cliffs, and hidden alcoves carved into 300 million year old layers of sandstone. From another parking area, a less than half mile loop trail cuts through a pinyon juniper forest to a perfect thousand year old rock granary tucked securely into a small alcove. Further along, another short trail leads to a series of alcoves, including this one featuring a representation of a 19th century cowboy camp. Here over an open fire, the cowboys cook their beans, bacon, potatoes, and lots of coffee. Cattle ranching thrived into the late 20th century. Nearby, another alcove protects Cave Spring, which gives the trail its name. Stormwater percolating through the porous sandstone layers provided reliable water for cowboys and natives. Descendants consider the spring sacred and ask visitors not to touch or drink. Ladders help complete the loop trail back to the parking area. Along State Road 95 near Blanding, easily accessible ancient ruins including Mule Canyon Kiva, a grid of 12 rooms thought to have housed three family groups. With a beautifully restored Kiva, the ubiquitous subterranean room where men gathered for religious rites. We had to deal with Utah spring weather at the state's oldest national monument. A deep gorge with three magnificent stone formations make up Natural Bridges National Monument, dedicated in 1908 by Theodore Roosevelt. The paved nine-mile loop trail connects dramatic viewpoints and trailhead access to the canyon at bridges below. We opted for a short trail to the Horse Collar Ruins Overlook. The trail is tricky with some ups and downs, but a railing offers some security. The ruin is one of the region's best preserved. The Anasazi abandoned the area some 700 years ago. 45 miles south on State Road 261, the pavement turns to dirt and immediately drops 1,100 feet, switchbacking down the steep bluff off Cedar Mesa to the valley below. The unpaved road with no guardrail is a bit scary, but the views are amazing. At the bottom, we turn off on the windy, sandy, 17-mile-long Valley of the Gods Scenic Drive. This miniature monument valley features isolated buttes, towering pinnacles, and a John Ford landscape that stretches on forever. We finish this epic day with a stop at Utah State Park's Edge of the Cedars Museum and Ruins in Blanding. Reach time with Mary Ann at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure in southeastern Utah's Red Rock Country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are graced with the Dalai Lama behind us. Oh, they, I, see, I thought that was the Italian Lama, Lama Mia. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna force myself to laugh at that. Chicha. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh my goodness. No, we, we're out here uh, with the uh, Upland Adventures. It's part of uh, a group that does a lot of tours out of the Page area and it kind of looks like we're at a Can-Am convention, but that is what Upland Adventures prefers to use because they are so well matched to the terrain out here. Oh my gosh, it is just, you talk about the Ferrari or the, I, I just cannot believe how unbelievable this ride is. You don't feel one bump and you can take anything yeah, with those so things. It's like a cross between a Ferrari and a Rolls Royce. Oh, totally because agreed. Because it just, it sucks up the whoops and they've got, they got a ton of power. And, and there are a lot of whoops to encounter here. It's really diverse terrain. Well, right now we're at a place called Birthday Arch. Just behind me, 
there's a huge hole in the ground with an arch that formed over the years of the water freezing and breaking the rocks and then thawing. It's beautiful arch. On the way up, we came through some really cool washes, sand washes. We're blasting back and forth. We saw a really cool rock formation. Looks like a llama, some rock crawls. And on the way out of here, we're gonna go across a big flat open area where we can hit 80, 85 miles an hour and just let her rip. So the terrain here is extremely varied. Then we're gonna switch from the old wild, wild west where they film the west, western movies here. We're gonna go over to the science fiction area where we call the moon. And they did film a Josie Wales, Clint Eastwood movie there, but most of that, we call that the moon, the science fiction area, completely different terrain. Here we are on the red rock and the, and the dirt and everything and trees. And then we're gonna go somewhere totally different within 25 minutes of here. That it looks like you're on a totally different planet. It, it would seem like you drove, you've driven maybe a thousand miles to get to a different geographical area. And the geological formations, it's just amazing. Unlike any other place in the world. It's a national monument <laughs> for one. And there's, it's not just this national monument. You got Zion close by and Bryce and the Grand Canyon is not too far, so you got all that in one big giant area. Oh, the ride's been awesome, beautiful. Uh, uh, going up those rocks were pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, hitting some of those straightaways are fun. Hopefully we can do that some more of that. I love it, you know, it is amazing. These upland adventure rides are great. And I would recommend for anybody to come out in the area to come and join us and see the beautiful part of Utah. Mississippi. Woohoo! Wow. What you about? ain't never getting back in this seat, mister. <laughs> <laughs> we have to buy it first. Oh, these anyway. things are fun. Anyway, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are out with the crew from Eagles Landing in Page, and we are out with the group from Upland Adventures. Now, Eagles Landing, ever since they took over this gas station and built this uh, travel plaza, this has been like hot news. People just love it. I'll tell you what, it used to be just pick up some gas and, you know, run in and get some really good grub. But now they have the steak burgers and they've got, oh my gosh, that wonderful, their wonderful little lodge, their rental vacation lodge. That's the thing we need to talk about. Because where to steal a phrase from some other vendor of uh, travel plazas, while the others may be adventures first stop, this is definitely Adventure Space Camp because you've got everything right here. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's check it out. Eagles Landing uh, Pilot is located in Greenhaven right outside of Page. We are located about a mile from Lone Rock. Uh, it's a great recreational area. We're open 24 hours a day. We're centrally located, you know, we're close to the lake. Uh, we're close to areas like this where you can go off-roading, camping. Uh, so it's a great place to live, great place to be. I mean, we're, we're right on the uh, border of Arizona, Utah. You know, you can't beat the weather here. Uh, you know, fall and spring, the weather's probably the best in the nation. You know, you can't beat it. So right now we are, uh, we are showcasing uh, three uh, cabins or vacation rentals. Um, it's basically uh, one bedroom, uh, one bath, uh, kitchenette, uh, located right at the uh, Eagles Landing Pilot site. Um, has uh, views of the lake and it's right next to the store so it's kind of a one-stop shop. We have the restaurant there, the Yardley's uh, steak burgers, we have um, pretty much everything you need there. Not to mention um, the employees that uh, work for 24 hours. Uh, we strive for 100% customer service. Uh, we take pride in that. Uh, it's a great clean location. Yeah, I know the Airbnb cabins, they're amazing, and I would encourage you all to come on out. They're clean, they're brand new, they're beautiful. They're right by Eagles Landing Pilot Store at your convenience. And then at the same token, if you want, you go ahead and rent, rent um, one of these side-by-sides with the Upland Adventures, and you will have a blast. Another awesome thing about these travel plazas at Eagles Landing is they always have the most beautiful, enormous American flags just flying as you pull in. And it's just like, God bless America. You know, these guys are patriots. It just makes me so happy. Yeah, you know what I really like about the uh, Eagles Landing here at Greenhaven though, 
is these vacation rentals that have the deck out the back. And you can sit out there on your deck, prop your feet up and yep. look out there and say, do I want a boat? Do I want a ride? Do I want a boat? <laughs> Do I, want right. do I want a boat? You can do both. In, uh, in the same day. In the same day. And then in the evening or whatever, yeah. you can like go get their wood in their little shop in there oh, yeah, and just go just, have a nice yeah. little... They got everything you need just 50 feet away. Fireplace. Anyway, we're going to go find Bob, go for another ride, and why don't you look at this story? Off-roading takes many forms. People get out in machines of all shapes and sizes including ones you can't even fit into. Because of their colossal fun factor, these small wonders are exploding in popularity, but for some, it's been a lifelong passion. I can remember far back as, you know, very young age, every Christmas, what I wanted was an RC car. The next Christmas, another RC car. Next year, another RC car. It's what I've always liked. I work on cars, that's what my career is, and when I'm done with it, I'm out messing with cars and small, big, I love them all. And he's turned that love of off-road RC into the perfect excuse to get the family outside spending time together. My boys have the one that I bought very first was a Traxxas Stampede. That was my very first expensive RC car and that's actually what my boys have is their first RC car. So it's actually the exact same thing. <laughs> I've been RC car in for years. Being outside and hanging with my family and my dad, it's just really fun. We do some races, and we have a bunch of RC cars, so my probably favorite one is our drifters. We have an RC car that goes fast. In addition to developing children's spatial perception and hand-eye coordination, RC machines can help clear the mind. I just like the after a 10-hour shift, you just get off, you have a controller in your hand, and you don't realize that you just went on a two, three-mile hike. You just go out and play, and that's the only thing you think about is the RC car while you're out there. And if you don't want to relax, you can always punch that throttle. Drifting, jumping off rocks, or just walk, keep eyes on your car and going through that river. A little bit worried and excited. The crazy thing is you get these RC cars nowadays and they're really built just like the real Jeeps other than they just come in smaller parts. I mean, they're micro scale. So it's just like working on a real Jeep, obviously just littler parts and not as greasy. I also enjoy working on them. I mean, it also helps you escape your brain. That's half the joy for me is breaking them, bashing them, going to fix them and upgrading the parts, making them faster. It's mostly my dad that works on them, but I help him sometimes. He's taught me little things, and I like that it's fast. We just upgraded it like a week ago, I think. I see cars in the desk. It's a good habit to spend time with my family. Oh, it just gets everyone out away from the screens that everyone obviously likes to enjoy nowadays. Out here, it's fresh air. There's nothing better. You know, there are so many places that you could do Christmas cards from down here. Oh, yeah, this is one of them. This would be one of them. Yeah. 
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are out of uh, big water uh, with the people from Eagles Landing and Upland Adventures. And we are exploring some great territory. Now, you know through the 22 years we've been doing this show, we've traveled a lot of this area. In fact, Kane County is one of the most traveled areas we have. Oh, absolutely. But we've never been here. Yeah. And this is pretty cool. Yeah, the, the tour, tour guide brought us up here, Upland brought us up here, and this is beautiful. There's a lot of movies were filmed up here in, uh, back in the day. Ba back in the day, the whole area. But yeah. anyway, check it out. Check this out next week's show. Next week, Chad and I are joining up with the guys from Jorgensen's as we head out for a great ride near Sand Hollow to learn all about their awesome new guide company, JP Sport Adventures. Then, Brett Pennefather is joining his family for some great mountain biking trails in New Zealand. And they take on the Timber Trail. Finally, Terry Wood is joining the folks from Farron, Utah, as they take him out on another great off-roading trail out at the Copper Globe Mine. Now, let's take a look at our calendar of events. First up, April 24th through the 27th is the Red Rock Jamboree in Kanab, Utah, which is presented by the Utah Arizona ATV Club. Visit utazatvclub.org for more information. Then, May 24th and 25th at the Millard County Fairgrounds is the Delta Classic Rock Crawl. That's so much fun. Love it, which is the best way to see some extreme rock crawling action way up close. Visit deltaclassicrockcrawl.com to stay up to date. And be sure to visit our events page at ayltv.com to stay up to date on all the great jamborees and off-road and outdoor events that will be happening throughout the year. Great show lined up for next week. Great birthday party for Brett Hermanson today. Yeah, thanks for bringing me out on the... Thanks, Bob, for awesome. bringing me out here on the side-by-sides. Right. So, Upland Adventures, your place to go if you want a great guided tour with a lot of knowledgeable background and good dad jokes, I might add. <laughs> They're and just you, good people. If, if you want good food and a good place to stay, Eagle's Landing right down there in Green Haven, that's the combination. Really, it's a win-win situation. These people are awesome, and uh, you just cannot not have a good time out here. True. So remember, there is adventure around every band. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure at your leisure.